Hello and welcome to this episode one, sorry, episode one of my Working with Evernote series. And in this series, what I want to do is start off you off with the basics of using Evernote and then moving it on to the more power user stuff as we go through uh, the whole setting up of Evernote. So probably in the first 10 episodes or so, we're going to be working on setting Evernote up so that you get the best user experience from Evernote. And then we're going to start moving on to some of the more power user stuff that you may find really useful and how Evernote can connect into other applications that you might be using. So I'm really, really happy to be able to do this uh, series for you. Uh, I hope that you get a lot of usage from it because Evernote, to be quite frankly, to me is, is a lifesaver. It contains, it is my digital filing cabinet. It is an amazing application. It's been around for a long time. Uh, it's going nowhere and it's just going to get better and better and better. So I hope you find this epi this season, season two, I hope you find it really useful. And uh, if, of course, if you have any questions about Evernote or anything you'd like me to cover in these videos, please, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. So let's get started with setting up a basic notebook in Evernote. Right, here I am in uh, Evernote for Chrome and the reason I'm using Chrome is because Chrome is ubiquitous. Pretty much everybody uses Chrome browser these days or Safari. Um, and the thing about Chrome or Safari, it doesn't really matter, the interface is going to be the same and I feel that when the desktop applications get updated, maybe sometime this year, they're going to have this web browser look to them so I figured that the best thing to do is to start off and show you it through the browser. Now the other reason for this is because everything pretty much works the same way. Um, down this uh, left hand corner we have plus which would be to add a new note. Search. Now I should point out that Evernote search is probably one of the best searches you can imagine so once you get like a few hundred or even a few thousand notes in your uh, Evernote searching them is no problem at all. Evernote search is amazing. Work chat which we'll cover in a later date um, and then we have shortcuts which is really very very useful if you need to access a particular note very quickly. Then you have your notes, your notebooks and your tags. Today we're just going to feature on notebooks. So here we have first notebook. Now um, I'm going to click on that and it takes us, we've got this uh, dark grey box here. If we change that we can click on I and I'm going to change the name of this notebook to Inbox. So there's a very good reason for doing that. Um, what I want to be able to do is this is going to be where all my notes go whenever I need send anything to Evernote because if you don't process Evernote correctly uh, if you don't process Evernote regularly, you're going to find yourself with loads and loads and loads of different notes in there. You don't know what's in there and it becomes a nightmare. Ever I've been using Evernote since 2009 and I have over 4,000 notes in there. And everything goes through inbox before I process it at a later date. But again, processing, that's a bit more of a, 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 an advanced feature which I'm going to show you at a later date. Now, that's the first one. The second one I suggest that you create is create a notebook which I would consider for work. So you click on this top right hand uh, title your notebook and I'm going to call this one work. Now what I like to do for my main workbooks is to have them capitalized because they're just much easier to find. And finally there is another one that I want to do is I want to create a personal notebook. So again, we just click on the plus, so personal, I can't spell, personal, and create the notebook. So if I go into my notebooks now, I have three notebooks. I've got my inbox, I've got my personal, and I've got my work. These are the three key notebooks that I want to capture my notes. Now, um, there is one more that can be useful so we may as well set that one up now so again to set up a notebook all we have to do is to go into the notebook section here 
Um, that takes me to personal, sorry. Um, click on there. Click on this top corner here, which is like a picture of a notebook with a plus attached to it. Click, and this one I'm going to call Someday Maybe. And there we go. We've collected it. <laughs> we have now created the Someday Maybe. So I'm going to go back into here. So now I have four notebooks. Now, there are many ways to use these, but like I said before, the most important thing is that you actually create a notebook called Inbox, a notebook called Personal, a notebook called Someday Maybe, and a notebook called Work. Now, if you notice down the left hand, these have gone into alphabetical order. Um, you can actually add numbers like inbox could be zero zero. Let's say you wanted work at the top after inbox, so you've got zero one. You could call it personal could be zero two, and someday maybe zero four. So you can create notebooks as many notebooks as you want. Uh, when we go into the more power users things, I will go into more details about strategies and how to use this. But for today, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set up a notebook. Okay, so join me again in episode two, where I show you how we can actually add notes to these various notebooks. So I hope you found this episode useful. Don't forget, guys, have a great week and please stay productive.